Hello everyone, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to connect to other people, like on Dolphin Emulator Netplay. So what you're going to want to do is go to the Dolphin website, just Dolphin Emulator, download, click the most recent version, download it, and then that'll download, it's not too big, and you can just, when that finishes, you can just drag it onto your desktop. And then, while we do everything else, you're probably going to want to uh, get the actual ROM itself. So that'll just be over here. I'll send you guys a link to it, or you can go search for ROMs on your own. But in this instance, I just have it uploaded to Google Drive, and you guys can just download it. And then, there's no viruses. You just hit download anyway. And then that'll download. Downside is that the ROMs, a lot of the time, are a couple gigabytes, gig and a half. So I already have this downloaded just for demonstration purposes, so we should be good with that. And then what you're going to want to do is extract Dolphin, so you can just extract files. Oh, no, 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 you don't want to do extract files. You want to extract a Dolphin master, and then the name, or I might have just done the same thing, I don't know. And then once you download the actual ROM, this is what it's going to give you. You're going to want to hit right click, extract here, and then that'll go through extracting everything. This is what it will look like. Uh, I already have that done since that also takes a bit. So that's just right here. So you won't need this anymore. And then now we have the actual emulator and the ROM. So you're going to want to open up the emulator folder, Dolphin64, and then you're going to want to make a new folder called ROMs. drag this in there and then launch it you're going to want to hit configure make sure cheats are on go to GameCube make sure there's a memory card in slot A a microphone in slot B and then in paths you're gonna to want to hit add and then your desktop the folder itself navigate into it wherever you put this you can put it wherever go to ROMs hit select folder Make sure search subfolders is checked, and then you should be good, and that will add your games. So as you can see, it added another double dash because that's what was in there. To get your controllers working, just make sure it says GameCube controllers, port 1, standard controller, hit configure. If you're going to be using an Xbox One controller or another controller, pick whatever that's named. It should be pretty obvious. It should just be whatever isn't keyboard and mouse. If you're going to be using keyboard and mouse, you can just name it whatever you wish. And then just to bind like the A button on the GameCube controller to whatever you want, so you can do all that. Or if you're going to be using an Xbox controller, how you can do it, make sure you have it selected. If it's not showing up, just hit refresh. And then for each each button, you're going to want to click on it, and then hit that button on the controller. So button A, button B, button X. You can do this however you wish. And then if you want to save this configuration, if you are ever going to use two different controllers on the same computer, just type in that, just whatever you want the profile to be called, like all this to be saved, hit save. And it'll show up in this list, Xbox One. So if we were to change that to down on the D-pad, you can just hit this, load, it'll change it all back. That's the controller done. Now for Netplay, you want to hit the tools, start Netplay. Make sure this is changed to transversal server and put whatever you want your name to be to everyone else uh, that's going to be playing with us, just what you want your name to be. If you're going to be hosting, click host, click whatever game, then hit host. This will show up. This is what you change to increase or decrease like the delay. Essentially, if someone's lagging, increase this until the game's running smooth. Everybody else will show up here for people to actually join. Just hit copy and then send them this code. And then you, if you're going to be joining, just go to tools, start netplay connect make sure this is transversal server again set your name and then paste the code in there and hit connect it's not going to work because I just closed it but that is what you want it to say you just want all that to be like that and then since dolphin requires us all to be on the same version of the emulator if it ever if we ever upgrade to a newer version you can just go back to the older version or just go back to the website sorry and then you can 
download whatever newer version I'll just for example I'll download an older version even though you wouldn't really want to do this and then to update it you'll just drag it back on to like wherever it is and then hit extract here and then it should oh wait no that's not gonna work you're going to want to rename it to whatever this folder is called so you can just rename and copy that and then rename this and then you're going to want to then hit extract and then it's going to ask you if you want to replace hit yes to all and then that will go ahead and replace all the old files with the new ones or in this case the new ones with the old ones but that's just for demonstration so that's how you get the dolphin emulator up and running with netplay